Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how you can create a flow chart inside PowerPoint. This is actually quite a straightforward process once you know how. So let's jump right into the desktop and get into it. OK, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to essentially get a grid onto our PowerPoint presentation so that we can snap things to it and make it really, really easy. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to go to view. We're going to go to the show options here. We're going to click on this little expand option. Then we're going to snap objects to the grid and then we're going to display the grid. OK, and we're going to click OK. Now we have a grid on our chart. This makes it a little bit easier for drawing out the flow chart. OK, so the next thing we want to do is head over to the insert tab of our ribbon and we have a series of shapes. Now there's a flow chart uh, area just down here. We can grab any of these and we can basically put them onto our screen and then we can use the lines which will basically connect everything together. Now this is a very manual way of doing it. You can of course do different methods in terms of creating uh, these types of uh, hierarchies. I can show you a separate more easier way to do this. Uh, just after I show you the more manual way because there are different reasons as to why you might want to do it manually versus doing it um, kind of automatically. So let's go ahead and we're just going to use this one right here which is basically rounded corner rectangle. I'm going to click that and then we can go ahead and we can do this. Now what it will do is it will snap this to essentially any of these grids right so I can make these boxes exactly the right size to kind of fill out the the space on the grid right and then it can snap it to any of those areas okay so we're going to create that there we're then going to basically get a couple more maybe we'll put a couple over here for example uh, like this and then we'll put another one um, over here and then one more of these rectangles just over this side. Okay, then we'll go back to the insert ribbon. Uh, we'll come over to shapes, and this time maybe we'll choose something slightly different to represent a different level within the flow chart, for example. So if I take a triangle here, for example, we can go ahead and snap this into one of these grids here, uh, into these little boxes, and we can have these in. Uh, we can go ahead and draw a couple of those into there, for example do these under each and every single one. Uh, of course, I can select multiples and copy them both, uh, paste them both, and then snap them into our grid uh, accordingly uh, and so forth, right? So we can now have different shapes, right, within our grid. We'll add one more just for good measure, and maybe we'll have something top level. Um, so maybe we'll come down to our flow chart here, and we'll choose something like this one here. And maybe we'll say that these ones are grouped here, like so. And then we'll paste this over to the other side as well. OK, so now we have uh, essentially got ourselves uh, a couple of three different types of shapes, right? But they're not connected. So what we want to do is we want to connect these together. Right? To do that, we're going to go to insert. We're going to go to lines uh, within our shapes, right? So here we have lines. Now we want to choose a couple. There's lots of different types of lines that you can choose here not straight lines. I personally prefer the ones that kind of have a little bit of a bend to them. And sometimes you might find that an arrow works well, but I'm just going to use the connector elbow. And what I can do is you can see as I hover above where we want to connect these, you can see that we can connect them from the bottom here, for example. And you can see here that it's automatically kind of uh, pulled it across here. We can grab this end and we can snap it to there. OK, then we can do the same thing again. We can go into insert, grab a shape, grab that elbow, connect it from here grab that last little elbow there and snap it to there. OK, so now you can see that that's connected like so. And we'll do the same again. We're going to insert and we're going to grab an elbow line and we're going to snap it from here. And this time, because we're using triangles, this is a little bit more fiddly, but you can see you can snap it right into the middle. We'll go insert line again, elbow connection, and we'll snap this over to here. OK, so you can see how these things are kind of flowing together. OK, but this is a very manual way of doing it. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a new slide. OK, we'll go ahead and we'll delete off all these text boxes we don't need. And um, arguably, we don't need the grids for the automatic view, but we'll We'll leave it now. OK, if we go ahead over to insert, we'll go over to where it says smart art. If we click on smart art here, you can see that you have a whole host of different kind of process flows or cycles or hierarchy relationships that you can create and use. Uh, so this is what they all look like. Okay, You can list this down so you can have lists, you could have process flows, you could have cycles. Uh, we're going to go with hierarchy for this example, and I'm going to go ahead and draw these ones in like so. So now you have this automatic, uh, automatically created, um, you know, hierarchy, right? Which is automatically connected within here. So if we go top level at the top, for example, something to that effect, and then maybe underneath here you have a CEO, for example, uh, maybe that kind of reports over there. And then underneath here, you could have a whole host of 
um, different kind of people, for example, right? Uh, now, what you can do, of course, is demote and promote, okay, within here. So as you can kind of see here, we've got this director, it should report to the CEO. So if I go ahead and right click here, I can click on demote, which now puts the director underneath the CEO, where there's two other positions that are held at the top level, right? So CEO reports to the top level, but they also have these two additional levels. We can go ahead and demote these as well so that everyone reports into the CEO, for example, and it now looks like this. So you tend to find that although it's great to be able to draw the shapes on manually and connect them all with elbows, if you wanted different shapes, that's quite a useful process. But if you're trying to create something like this, where it's more of a hierarchy and a kind of a process flow or some kind of um, life cycle or whatever, the smart art tends to be the better way of going. And it is honestly as easy as just a couple of clicks and changing the data that you need. Now, when you click into the smart art, you can also format this. You can do lots of different things. You can give it styles. You can change the colors. You can format it in lots of different ways, uh, et cetera, et cetera, right? So you're not necessarily bound by what it comes uh, or looks like out of the box, but it is a very straightforward process uh, once you kind of get into it. So do mess around with it and let me know in the comments how you get on. Okay guys, it honestly is as easy as that. Whether you choose to do it manually by drawing shapes on and then connecting those with lines or whether you use the smart um, art feature where you can create hierarchies at a click of a button. To have a mess around with it, change the styles, the formats, and see how you get on. And let me know in the comments down below how you kind of got on with this. If you found this useful and informative, smash that like button for me, guys. It really helps me, helps you, uh, essentially. So do go ahead and do that. Subscribe if you want to stay up to date with all the hints and the tips that we have for various different pieces of software. And if you haven't done so already, guys, you might want to check out that video right there. It's one you probably don't want to miss.